Good afternoon. This is Susan at This is Susan's Ramblings. I have some more old-fashioned recipes for you. Okay, these recipes came from 1980s, 1970s, something like that. Anyway, they used simple ingredients. They didn't have all the ingredients that we have now in our stores available. So they used something simple to create some simple meals. They loved casseroles. They loved salads. But they didn't have much lettuce salads unless they grew it in the summer. So, here's a look back in the 1980s. Crazy crust crush. Three eggs, one and a half cups of milk, one half cup of margarine or butter, one half cup of biscuit mix. Put all in the blender. Blend until smooth. Pour into a grease 8x8 eight eight pan. Add one half pound of American cheese grated, one half pound of pork sausage cooked and drained, one half cup of chopped onion, one half cup of sliced green olives, one half cup of sliced mushrooms. Bake at 400 degrees for 40 minutes. Let stand for 10 minutes before serving. Crazy Crust Crush. South Dakota Baked Dinner. One package of elbow macaroni cooked. One and one half cups, a pound, one and a half pounds of hamburger. Two tablespoons of butter or margarine. One large can of tomatoes. One half cup of finely chopped celery. Celery slices chopped. One half, or optional, one half cup finely chopped onion, optional, one half teaspoon of salt. Brain brown hamburger in the butter or margarine. Add the hamburger to the macaroni. Add tomatoes, celery, and onions if desired. Add salt. Pour in a three and a half quart baking dish. Bake at 350 degrees. Add Baked and covered for 30 minutes. South Dakota baked dinner. Cottage cheese ball casseroles. Remember, you can make your own cottage cheese, and that's why I'm including these things because I know I can make cottage cheese if it's not a very, if I can't afford it. And you can always make cottage cheese out of shelf stabled milk. Also, even though it says no, it does work. One cup of cottage cheese, one cup of oatmeal, oats, one cup of sardine or cracker, sardine cracker crumbs, one large onion finely chopped, two beaten eggs, one half teaspoon of sage optional, one half teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of salad oil. One half teaspoon of poultry seasoning, one half can of one half cup of milk, one can of cream of mushroom soup. Combine your oats and crumbled oats. Combine cheese, oats and crumbled crumbs. Mix well. Beat the eggs and add oil. Mix into the cottage cheese mixture. Add your spices and your onions. Blend the cheese soup and the milk together. Shape cheese mixtures into balls. Place in a single layer in a two-quart casserole dish. Pour the soup and the milk mixture over it. Cover with foil. Bake at 325 degrees for one hour. Cottage cheese balls. Deep dish taco squares. One half pound of hamburger, one half pound of sour cream, one half cup of mayonnaise, one half cup of shredded cheese, shred of shredded cheddar cheese shredded, one tablespoon of onion chopped, one cup of biscuit mix, one half cup of cold water, one to two medium tomatoes, one half cup of green pepper. Heat oven to three hundred and fifty degrees. Grease and 
eight by eight baking pan and set aside. Brown your hamburger until no longer pink. Drain if, if necessary. Combine the sour cream, mayonnaise, cheddar cheese, and onions. Set aside. Mix your uh, mix biscuit mix with water. Put the dough in a baking dish. Press one eighth inch up the side of the dish. Lay your beef, tomatoes, and green pepper in the pan. Spoon over spoon sour cream mixture over all. Bake at 350 degrees for 30 to 25 to 30 minutes. This may sprinkle fabric over all if desired. Deep dish taco squares. Mix chicken. Mix up chicken casserole. One chicken cut into pieces. One cup of white rice pre-cooked. One cup of cream. One can of cream of mushroom soup. One can of peas with a little juice. One can of corn with a little juice. One can of beans drained. One can of carrots, save the juice. One box of Spanish rice mix pre-cooked, that would be rice alone. One can of mushrooms, <clears throat> one third cup of lemon juice, one half cup of margarine melted. Lay the chicken in the bottom of the casserole. Combine white rice, peas, sour cream, a soup, Corn, beans, carrots, and Spanish rice. Mix well. Pour over the chicken. Top with mushrooms. Pour lemon juice and melted margarine over all. Bake at 325 degrees for 45 to 60 minutes or until the chicken test done. Mix up chicken. Fried apple turnovers. Four cups of flour. Four teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one half cup of shortening, one and one half cups of milk, one cup, one can of apple pie filling, and nuts is optional. Dry, zip dry ingredients. Cut into, cut in shortening. Add enough milk to make a soft biscuit dough. Turn out and knead lightly. Roll out to one eighth inch thick. Cut two by five circles. Put pie filling and nuts, if desired, in the middle of the circle. Fold over and seal your edges well. Fry in a deep fat at 325 degrees for three minutes on each side until golden brown. Drain on paper towels. Lay on wax paper and frost with powdered sugar frosting when warm. The only thing I would change here instead of 325, it would be 375. Fried apple turnovers. Diabetic dressing. Two cups of sugar substitute. One teaspoon of paprika. One half teaspoon of salt. One cup of chili sauce one cup of chopped onions, one cup of salad oil, one cup of vinegar. Combine the sugar substitute and salt. Add and blend Add the blend Add and blend the chili sauce and chopped onions. Alternate add the salad oil and the vinegar. Keep in a jar in a refrigerator. All right, what grouped me up was I thought we had mayonnaise in this one. Okay, diabetic dressing. Blue cheese dressing. One cup of mayonnaise, two tablespoons of chopped onions, one teaspoon of finely minced garlic, one half cup of sour cream, one tablespoon of lemon juice, one tablespoon of white vinegar, one fourth cup of crumbled blue cheese, salt to taste if desired, and pepper to taste if desired. Combine all ingredients in a mixing bowl. And then mix, Does it, I think, copied these recipes exactly as they were written, so some of these things have to be taken for granted. Um, combine all ingredients in a mixer bowl, mix, 
chill for at least one hour, makes it at about two and a half cups. That's it for today. Blue cheese dressing. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless.